All right, on today's video, I'm uh, going to tell you about our water truck. Uh, I consider this the ultimate water tender truck. Uh, for us, it's suited exactly to what we need. It's got every feature that we need and does a really good job of, uh, of shuttling water to and from the field whenever we're spraying. So uh, I'm going to show you around this truck and some of the features we got. Start off, what we got here is a uh, Sterling uh, truck with a 28 foot flatbed on it. It's got a Caterpillar C9 motor in it, a 10 speed transmission. Or originally, we bought this truck uh, three years ago for I think about $21,000 or so. It had around 600,000 miles on it when we bought it. So let me give you a walk around the truck and show you, show you the features that it's got. Starting out, it's got a 3,200-gallon uh, poly tank on it, and we uh, situated it just uh, slightly in front of the rear axles. Yeah, 3,200 gallons of water is a little over 24,000 pounds, and we didn't want to situate it up here in the middle of the frame in between the front and the rear rear tires because we're worried about the, the weight on the frame. So we situated it close to the middle of the bed and just in front of the, just in front of the rear tires here. We've got a uh, three inch hose on it for filling. Uh, we can fill our thousand gallon sprayer up real quickly. For the motor and the pump, we've got a Honda 390cc motor on it. I uh, think it's probably around a 10 horse uh, motor. I might be wrong on that. Uh, it's got electric start for uh, quick startups. Right here in front of the tank is where we uh, got uh, plenty of room to store our chemicals. We also got our uh, pump and uh, mix vats. For our mix vats, we got a, a 15 gallon mix vat that we usually use for dry chemicals and lower volume chemicals. And then over here on this side, we've got a, uh, I think a 65 gallon mix vat for our higher volume herbicides such as atrazine, Roundup, and, and so on. Right up here, we got our uh, our storage area for our uh, for our bulk uh, for our uh, chemicals. We got enough room on this side for two 250 gallon shuttle tanks. We got some uh, tie downs mounted into the floor to hold the tanks down with, rat with ratchet straps. We got uh, our power studs up here to hook the pumps up to and, and power them. Then we got enough room on this side for uh, two and a half gallon jugs of chemicals on our lower volume stuff. The rails in the cage here, I uh, built these ourselves. Uh, we got a set of steps here that swing up and stick a bolt through to hold them up. Got uh, anti-slip uh, tape here on the steps to keep us from slipping off. And these gates can uh, open and shut on both sides there. We got, uh, we got some stops there to keep the gates from slamming back up against, against the door right there. For the times when we're doing night uh, spraying, we got uh, three LEDs mounted up there. We got a switch here on the side, turn them on and off. Here's all our uh, plumbing for our uh, draw from the water and the draw from the from the two mixed vats, plus the rinse lines for, for each, each of them right here. Got our main uh, open and close valve right here. Right here, we got uh, this plumbed into the air tanks on the truck, so when we're done filling up, we can open up the air valve and use the air from the tanks to flush all the water from the lines. You can imagine uh, with, uh, with three-inch hoses, uh, when it's filled up with water, it can be quite heavy, so anytime we get done filling up, we can flush all the water from the lines, make it a lot easier to handle. 
Also, when we're spraying things like liquid fertilizer, you know, there can easily be another 25 gallons or so of liquid fertilizer still in the lines, and we disconnect from the sprayer with the lines full, you know, we're going to lose a good bit of fertilizer, which we don't want to do. So when we're, uh, when we're filling up a fertilizer, uh, when the tank's filled up on the sprayer to about 975 gallons, then we'll open up the, the air valve and flush the flush air through the lines and push all that extra fertilizer up into the tank to completely, fit, to, to completely fill the tank up. Right here is one of the things that we uh, splurged on, on on this. It was pretty pricey. I want to say it's about $3,000, but it's an electric hose reel. And uh, we right now, we've got uh, 50 feet of 3-inch hose on there. There's enough room to probably, on this hose reel, to hold, I think, around 75 or 100 feet of hose. But 50 hose is plenty of reach for, for, what, for what we do. It's electrically act activated. Uh, also, it's got a it's got a remote with it. We typically don't use use the remote though. Right here, we got our uh, clean water tank for either washing hands or cleaning tips or whatnot. It holds it holds forty gallons of fresh water. Got some uh, nozzles here for for washing hands, or if we need a little bit higher flow, we got this hose hose right here. If we ever did need to hook to a trailer and hold it, this truck comes with a pintle hitch hookup and also a uh, receiver uh, and also uh, and also a, a receiver hitch mount you got boxes under both sides to hold uh, you know different things such as gloves uh, tools and whatever we need uh, to make any uh, quick fixes in the field also one other thing that we made up here is uh, this is a hose extension right here that can hook on to the the Phillip hose it's got a fire extinguisher nozzle here you can imagine how far it will shoot water coming out of a 10 horse motor in a in three in three inch line so in the rare case we ever have a fire in the field if this is close by hopefully we, we should be able to we should be able to put put the fire out quickly a whole lot quicker than if the fire department had to show up right here is where we fill our uh, bulk water tank up right now we got a a two inch adapter on there because we haven't upgraded our filling station yet to a three inch pump yet so it's a little slow on on filling up uh we're still able to get the job done right now but that's going to be in uh in future plans is to upgrade our filling station i know a lot of farmers uh in our area and probably around the country have turned to uh, big uh, water tenders for all all their spraying a lot of the ones we've seen is, is farmers have bought either a drop deck trailers or old flatbed trailers like army trailers that they would hook behind their semi truck and the reason we uh, chose this design truck right here is maneuvering around in in the field you get a you get a flatbed trailer behind a semi truck you know it's you get you get in tight quarters in the field when when crops growing you know you're liable to you know maneuvering to get turned around the field to get back out of the field you're liable to run over run, you're liable to run over some of your crops so this style truck right here is a lot more with it being just a just a flatbed truck it's a lot more maneuverable in in the field with 3200 gallons of water we can fill up our sprayer three times before we have to come back to the before we have to come back to the shop to fill up and uh so you know we we normally spray about uh, 15 gallons of, of water per acre so we can get over about 200 acres of, of ground before we have to come back and, and, fit, and fit and fill up the truck so maybe for some farmers this truck would be a little undersized for what they do but for us it's 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 suited absolutely perfectly for what we need to do with it like I said earlier, when we bought the truck, we paid $21,000 or so for the truck. And then I think all the equipment on here to, uh, to you know, the pump, the tank, the mix vats, the hose reel, the hoses, uh, the metal for the railings and stuff, totally that cost us about $18,000 in parts and, and labor. So right now we've got what we consider the ultimate water truck for about $38,000. So, uh, I know it's really boosted our productivity in the field. Our last truck that we had was a 1976 Ford F700 truck flatbed. It had two 1,000 gallon tanks on it. It was all two inch plumbing, had one small 15 gallon mix vat on there. And uh, you no, know, it took a whole lot longer to fill up the sprayer 
we didn't have enough capacity typically to, especially when spraying high volume chemicals to mix all of our chemicals up in one batch and have it ready for the sprayer whenever the sprayer ran out. So uh, this truck has really improved our efficiency in the field. We got enough mixing capacity on here that we can mix up pretty much any load we want to while the sprayer's spraying. And then when the sprayer runs out, all it's gotta do is, is pull up here. The truck driver, which is usually Kelly, gets out and hooks up the hose, cranks up the motor, and about five minutes later, the, the sprayer's filled up and back going again. So we can really cover quite a few more acres in, in, a, in a day with this setup right here. One other feature about this truck I didn't mention, it doesn't really make it a better truck, but it takes me back to my younger years. Straight pipe. 